the last couple of games, you guys have been a lot of big plays, big passes down the field. So now you guys didn't really do that till late in the game. Was that part of the game plan to come out here and be more physical and try, try and run the ball against BYU? I think it was more schematically, uh, definitely to run the ball. Uh, that's always our goal. And, and this day, this game's always a physical game, so uh, that, that's the biggest thing is, is running the ball. But uh, defensively, they, they do a really good job as far as shots and stuff like that um, on their back end. So. Uh, we, we knew that it was going to be a physical game, and we knew that we needed to, you know, uh, take chunks out uh, down the field. George Flani came in and kind of took the load at running back for you after Robert got hurt. Not the first time he's done that this season. Just how confident are you in him when he does have to come in those situations? Yeah, a ton of confidence. I mean, he's, he's really gifted. He, he's a young guy. He, he runs hard. Uh, and, and he's smart too, so it, it's uh, there's a lot of confidence when um, we know that he's running behind us. What was uh, what was the biggest difference in the, in the fourth quarter when you guys got those couple of touchdown drives to, to get back in? What, what was what was the difference there? I, I think we just started piecing things together quicker. I'm not really sure what it was, but um, there wasn't one point where you know we thought we were going to lose. I mean, we were fighters. That's the one thing about us. No one had their head down. No one. Um, didn't feel very comfortable in the situation. We all really, truly believed that we were going to come out on top. And uh, I think after believing all four quarters, it, it finally worked uh, on the fourth quarter. So, David, uh, looking at BYU's touchdowns in the third quarter, a couple of them came off the trick plays. Did, did what they do catch you guys off guard a little bit at first? Were you expecting to see like a play flicker and then the quarterback sneak back? I think it just came down to eye control on our uh, aspect of the ball. Um, there's things, there's that's plays we see our offense do sometimes too. So there's, there's really no excuses, just bad eyes. David, do, do, is that you know is that tough to swallow the fact that they you know, kind of did it on, on those, those trick plays and things that you know Boise State usually is the one doing it on someone else? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it, was, it was just on us. I mean, we uh, didn't play with our fun fundamental techniques in those plays, and BYU capitalized. So. <coughs> CT, uh, Octavius came out and had what maybe the best game of his career. Have you guys seen that from him in the last couple weeks? Have you seen him kind of kind of getting better and growing and, and, and earning this role on the field? Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, we always knew what Terry was capable of. I mean, he just showed it tonight, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he be, he's a hard worker. He always working hard, you know what I'm saying? He always, like, trying to get better every day. So, you know what I'm saying? It was just in a matter of time for Terry to have a good game like he had today. You know, we expected that. We, like, wasn't shocked from him or anything like that because we know what that guy can do. How disappointing is the loss you think? It's very disappointing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you gotta go back to the drama boys and start over, start all the way over, you know what I'm saying? Look at ourselves in the mirror, but you know, credit to uh, BYU, they did a good job today, and they, they were just ready to play. CT, walk us through your touchdown. Yeah, for sure, uh, uh, great blocking on the O-line, they pulled, you know, we practiced that play a lot of time. We practiced that play in the beginning of the season, and then tonight it just worked great, great. It worked out perfect for us, so, um, yeah, like I said, you know, we knew it was going to be a good play coming into the game. And then, like I said, the old linemen, they just pulled real good and they blocked. You know, the edge was there. You said, go, you know, after you guys lose, go back to playing Boise State football. What yeah. didn't you do Boise State football-wise tonight? I think we just didn't, like, the weather got to us a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So we wasn't focusing on execute. We was focused on staying warm, I, I, I say. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, things happen. You know what I'm saying? Things happen in the game and stuff didn't go our way. So... Came in halftime, zero zero man mentality, and try to come back out swinging the best way we could. Yeah, you see a couple times to see that George Wani has really kind of taken over the run game for you guys. You know, what have you seen out of him as a true freshman? He's a he's a dog, man. He's a dog, and you only see that from a lot of young guys. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the young guys come in there timid, scared, but he he likes contact. He wants contact, and that's one thing you see from him as a running back. So that's a good thing for uh, our team. You know what I'm saying? Have a guy like him who. Not scared to hit the hole, not scared to bounce out and like run the way he runs, you know what I'm saying? That's a that's a great job he did.